everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new a really warm welcome today i'm going to be sharing with you some happy mail that has come as well as an amazing craft haul with some superb bargains so let's jump into the video and i'll share with you everything i've got now the first thing that came was actually for my little girl it came in this beautiful handmade envelope and this is from my crafty friend Sarah and she had really kindly thought of Philippa and bought her some stickers which I'm going to show you in a minute but she'd also written her the loveliest letter and Philippa was absolutely over the moon to receive a letter so thank you so much for thinking of her she absolutely loved this now I'm going to show you the stickers some of them are used because she couldn't wait which is fair enough but look at these these are all dumper digger dozer style stickers which is right up philippa's alley at the moment she loves tractors she loves diggers she loves dumper trucks you name it she loves it so for someone to have found these brought the biggest smile to her little face and i was so touched that my friend had of her and grab these for her and then she's also found her these again philippa has already used some that was in the letter so we have trains which oh my goodness she was shouting at the top of her lung train train uh, but so she's very happy about that one and there's buses there's helicopters or as philippa calls them hella o's uh, we have planes. Every Saturday we've been taking her to the aerodrome to look at the planes and helicopters and she is in absolute heaven there. Again, she's already started making pictures with these. But isn't that lovely? So thank you so much, Sarah, for thinking of her. You absolutely made her day and she's over the moon with these. So I will now give these back to her. The next thing that came is for me. Um, it came in this lovely purple envelope and it had this gorgeous sticker on the back. Um, I had a lovely, lovely letter from the lady that sent it. It's from a lady called Danny, and she is on the Happy Mailers group that I joined. And she has made me this and this is incredible. So it came with this bow wrapped around it but look at this gorgeous little book isn't that stunning it's got the budgery gar on the front this flower is textured i'm not sure what it's made of but it's like foam backed it's a fabric of some sort isn't that beautiful and then we've got a happy day sticker and then as you flip through we've got like a tag with a flower on it here There's a little envelope here with gorgeous heart. Let's just see what's in here. <gasps> Look at these. Some beautiful heart stickers and they're like cake ones how fun is that love those that's right up my street then we have this bookmark oops isn't this lovely we've got ephemera on the back that was possibly on the back page my dream isn't that lovely That was on there. <laughs> we have this lovely topper. We've got some wax seals. We have, I think, some more stickers here. Aren't these lovely? Have a good day. Bees. So cute. some gems here and then look we've even got a shaker pocket isn't that amazing we've even got another flower on the back i absolutely loved that and it was so unexpected 
um it really put a big smile on my face so thank you very much to danny and i'm loving the happy mailers group it's such a lovely group and i can't wait to start sending out some happy mail of my own so those are the mail parts that came let's just move these aside and i will get into the haul I'm going to start in the charity shop that's down the road from my house. So I actually went in looking for DVDs for Philippa because I cannot watch Finding Nemo one more time. I think I will scream. Um, so I actually went in for some DVDs, but I came out with a lot more. So these are the crafty things I found. I found these Sizzix dies, the thin lit dies for 50p. It's got the boot and then a load of flowers. I didn't open it to check it was all there. I could see the boot was there and that was good enough for me. You can see all the other little bits as well. So I thought I would definitely have that for 50p. There was also this stamp set by Paper Mania. Um, doesn't look like it's ever, ever been used. This was a pound and I thought that would be great for Happy Mail. So I grabbed that. And then my deal of the day was this this was right at the front of the basket it's in its box i don't know if it's ever been used or not but it is a we are memory keepers flower punch board and i paid the grand sum of three pound fifty for that now maybe me when i came home i might have googled it to see what it really costs and on amazon at the moment this is nearly 19 pounds so i think that was an absolute steal i cannot wait to have a go with this tonight now i did find in my research that there is a separate stamen one um but i'm not that worried about that because i just want it for making the tops of the flowers to put on projects so so happy with that and it looks to all be there so that was amazing so that was my little charity shop down the road um then this afternoon we went to the range amongst other places now the first thing i got was some more tacky glue i love this tacky glue i use it all the time and i was literally down to my last bottle um, and I don't think it's going to last too long. So I needed some more. Um, so I got four bottles of that. This was really hard to find. I really had to search for this. Um, I don't know whether it's because they are making sure all the Christmas stuff's out or what it is. But this was incredibly hard to find. So I'm glad I got four of those. Um, I also found these. These were not very expensive. They were either $1.99 or $2.99. I can't remember which, but I thought they were really pretty. They're the battery-powered tea lights. As you can see, they're kind of a really pale pink. Really, really pretty. And I've got some ideas for Christmas gifts I want to try to make. So these will be useful for those. So I just got one pack of those for now. Um, I grabbed these a6 jotter pads i know they're a bit boring but i want to alter those so i thought because you got four in the pack i would pick those up i also got this really little really neon pack of um post-its again i'm going to alter this so that's really for a design team project um but I thought they were like 79p or 49p or something. I thought you can't really go wrong. So those are to be altered. I also found some fairy confetti. It was 90p, but I thought that was great for Happy Mail. So I've got that. There looks to be quite a lot in there. I did get very excited at one point because I found a whole table full of plastic storage boxes, which were full of dyes and um loads of crafty things and i thought oh fantastic clearance section and having seen laura's video last week i was like right this has got to all be reduced when i took it to the till it wasn't so i was really really disappointed and suffice to say i didn't buy any of it um but yeah that was a bit confusing really i did 
find these as well these were in one of the aisles they are sticky note flax i thought they were really cute and i thought i'd have a pack for happy mail and a pack for me can obviously put them in the back of um pocket letters or i could use them on journaling and lay it over the top so there's lots of things i can use those for so as i say a pack for me and a pack for happy mail then i got this now i bought this with the intention of putting it in happy mail this was released last year as part of the Dovecraft Christmas range. It's not one I got. I did see it. It was incredibly beautiful, but there's only so much money to go around. This was half price, and I actually got it with the intention of putting it in Happy Mail at some point. Having got home and counted the pages, because let's face it, it's a little bit battered and the sides have been cut, there is one page missing. So I'm hoping that doesn't really matter um, and I'm hoping that I can still put it in happy mail and someone will still be happy to receive that let me know in comments if you receive that in happy mail would you be disappointed or would you just be happy that somebody thought of you and sent you a pretty pad because this is stunning I mean those are all the designs that are inside it is a lovely lovely pad so let me know and then I can try and decide <laughs> what to do with it now, obviously, a shopping trip for me wouldn't be a shopping trip without some stickers for Philippa. So I saw these and I couldn't leave them behind because she loves Finding Nemo. I just thought these would really appeal to her. I really liked the colours. Look how they change in the light. And they're like sort of puffy stickers as well. So I love those and I'm hoping she will too. And then these ones, again, Finding Nemo, but I loved the colour. They are quite iridescent. So I just love the colour of those ones. So those are for my daughter. Now these were in the big storage boxes that I thought everything was reduced in. They didn't scan through as reduced, but they were only 69p a pack, and I really like them. So I've got one pack for Philippa, one pack potentially for me, and two for Happy Mail. But I think those are really quite cute stickers. What do you think? I like them. And the last thing I got in the range, really boringly, I got two packs of C5 envelopes because mine are all gone i think my husband comes and pilfers them and means to tell me he's taken them and then forgets but these were like 1.99 each and you get 50 so i thought that was fine so that was just in the range i also got a shed load of chocolate and stuff for Christmas swaps and Christmas Eve boxes and Christmas stockings and things like that but um yeah I swear you in the range you can just spend money you go in for glue and you come out loads of money lighter it just eats your money next I went to TK Maxx um I got some Christmas outfits for my niece and I also got this I thought this was really really pretty this is tissue wrapping paper by Penny Kennedy no idea who that is uh, but it was only $1.99 and you get four sheets and it's 50 by 70 centimeters so I think that's pretty decent I've actually got a Christmas project in mind and I thought that would look really pretty on it so I couldn't resist that and I grabbed that and lastly I went to Hobbycraft now today would have been absolutely perfect to do my go shop with me video however I had my two-year-old with me and we're currently toilet training so I kind of felt like I was against the clock every time I went in a shop in case she needed the toilet um if you are old enough to remember challenge Annika I fully understand how Annika Rice felt charging around against the clock trying to get everything done because when you're toilet training a two-year-old you are definitely up against the clock so that's why I didn't do a, a go shop with me but getting back to what I did get I discovered that Hobbycraft sell Kalau 
I was really pleasantly surprised. I had no idea they sold this. Um, I just happened to spy it as I was leaving an aisle and I had only just said to my husband as we left the range, I need to get some more cloud glue. And we were laughing because it sounds like something from Superman. So I was really happy to see that. So I got two of those. I also got some Mod Podge. Now I have never ever owned this before. I've never used it before. I've picked it up because I'm hoping it's the right thing I need for a Christmas project. But it's also small enough that if it's not right, it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to have a play with this and see what I think. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a good trial size. Two fluid ounces, that's not bad, is it? I grabbed some more of these. These are a really good size for what I've been doing lately. They're not too thick, but they still give some dimension. So I got two 80 packs of those. I also got these mushrooms. These were £3.50, which I think is a bit expensive, if I'm honest. My daughter loved carrying these around the shop and then... She gave them to the checkout lady, absolutely fine. As soon as we got home, she went down the bags trying to find them. I was just like, no, they're mummies. Um, so I think I'm probably going to lose some to her. But I got these with the intention of um, using them as decoration on something for Christmas. But now I'm thinking, are mushrooms Christmassy? I'm not sure. So I might keep them till next year. But I really like the colours. I think they're really cute. So we'll see if they come off how I'm wanting them to. I also got some of this Deco Patch uh, tissue paper. I liked this one because it has the script. I thought that was really, really pretty. I also got this one. I thought this was really, really cute. This is just regular tissue paper. Uh, I was umming and ahhing about whether to actually have this and then Philippa took the decision out of my hand because she just took it out of my hand and put it in the trolley. So I was like, oh, okay, that's coming home with us. Um, again, this I've got an idea for. We'll see if it comes off. I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort levels a little bit. Um, so keep an eye out on Project Share Sunday videos because... If it comes off, it'll be in there. Even if it's a hot mess, it'll probably still be in there. But um, yeah, that's probably where you will see this mystery project. And then the last thing I got was the five by five card blanks that I forgot to get the other day. Um, I'm pretty sure I only needed five by five. I remember doing the video after my last hobby craft visit and saying I should have got more envelopes. Pretty sure I only needed five by five. But anyway, I've got them now, so I'm a happy girl. So that's my happy mail and my haul. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in comments if there's a favourite item that I've got or if you've used Mod Podge before. What do you use Mod Podge on? I'm going to try it on glass. Don't know if it'll work particularly well, but that's kind of where I'm going with it. I would love to know. Also, let me know what you think about that paper pad. Can I put it in Happy Mail or can I not? I'd love to know your thoughts. Help me make up my mind. Thank you so, so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and help my channel grow. Thank you so much to the ladies that were kind enough to send Happy Mail either to myself or my little girl. We really, really appreciate you thinking of us and it did give us the biggest smile ever. I really hope everyone watching is happy, safe and well. I'll be back soon with more videos. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.